this one is um a quite a, a straightforward uh one not doing any fancy techniques or um any inking or creating things we're just going to use um card and paper uh it's the sort of thing that you you probably have in your stash so put that to the side I'm just making sure I've got the celebrate diet. It's just that was one thing I was thinking, where is that one? I'll put that over there just in case. I'll move that. We don't need that for the moment. Okay. So I have um just used some brown card from my stash. The reason I went with this is because of this paper. Um I decided I rather like that paper, and that paper is from um this paper pad, this 12 by 12 paper pad, Woodland Friends, part of the, <coughs> excuse me, part of the Nature's Garden um, set, uh, set from uh, Crafter's Companion. And this has got some beautiful um, little um, papers that, that go uh, with a few of the other dies. But I just liked this, this paper, which is this one here. Okay. So. I have a piece of brown card as ever, you know, I've taken an A4 piece and I've cut it down and it looks like I've gone just over six inches, but you know, roughly six inches. So I am going to score this in half and I'm pretty sure that this won't score at five and seven eighths. I'm going to do it anyway and trim it just because I think this card is an odd size. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to go for it. We're going to go for it and see. I'm pretty sure that's not that's. We've got a little bit of a, a leading edge, but that's okay. I can cope with that. I can cope with that. So I'm just going to um, pull that down. So that's our base card. Really straightforward. Um, and then, again, I have, <laughs> guess what? I already made one. Look, <laughs> I wonder what that bit of card was for. We'll find out in a minute. Let's see whether I've made a bit of a boob. Okay, so I have already cut a piece of Foundations Ivory card. Yep, and a piece of this card from the uh, Woodland pack, like so. So that's our base card. Okay. Now, what I need is some. Foundations Ivory Card. Uh, bear with me a moment. And we are going to cut out these two panels. So I need. Let's get rid of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, because we are cutting them out, um, we can put them reasonably close together. I wouldn't put them totally close together. Um, make sure, as with the other cards, that these dies are running down your machine um, and not across. Okay. I am also... Oop, put the die around the right way would help. I am also going to... While we're running it through, I am going to... Let me tuck those down first and then I'll put the other dies on. Otherwise, I'll move something before I get there. So let's put that. And then I'm going to do it. Let's see because it's moved already. I'm going to tape the bottom there. Tape top of that. And then the bottom as well. Okay. I also want um, a dragonfly in cream and I want this Celebrate die, this one from the Trim Craft set in cream. So I'm going to put those two on to cut at the same time. Oh, take them down, otherwise they're going to go for a little wander. Okay, so whereas before we cut the panels into a piece of card, this time we've cut them out. I'm just going to put that to one side. I'm going to get them all off the card first and then remove them as we go. Let's get this come off. That bit of tape. OK. 
Okay, let's put those in there. That one's on one side as well. I'll remove that in a moment. And then I'll let this celebrate. Oh, that's one side there. Okay. All right. Let's remove all of our little bit and pieces. So we have our we'll celebrate die. Okay. Oh, come out. There we go. So we have our celebrate. Well, I am going to keep putting them in there, otherwise, I shall lose them. And we have our little dragonfly again. There we go. And we have. Not quite nicely. Our. Lovely daisy dye, daisy panel with our be the beautiful Im uh, bossed image. And I'm just going to take that out because there's only a couple of bits. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, one more. There we go. That's that bit done. And then this is, this is the more fiddly one. This is the one where you want to take the time because now not only do you have lots of um, sort of Fine intricate bits here, you only have a fine edge around the, the, the side. So just take your time, it will come out because it is all cut beautifully. It's just, it's so fine. You don't want to be um, going at it like a bull in a china shop and ripping any bits. There you go. See, all come out, all came out, it's all proper English. It all has all come out properly. So we're just going to clean that dye. There we go. Just a bit left. Hope it's all in. Okay, so those are all our pieces cut. The other bits I have already pre prepared and ready for us to uh, assemble our card. There we go. Right, so I have my. Um, base card. I have my two panels. I have already cut um, two, two panels. Now these two I've cut from the same paper but I did use these dies. Sorry these ones. Ugh. These the the outside dies of these because I don't want to see this outside of the panel. It's going to be behind the panel <coughs> and then you'll have the cream against the brown. Okay, so those are exactly the same size as the panel. So they are going to be stuck on the back um, before they are put onto the, um, the brown card. That's that there. I have a, I have a little brown dragonfly to go with that one and then I've got the two bits to mount our um, celebrate die on. Okay. So of all the cards this is kind of the most straightforward matte layer type of card. We're going to do these in the same way as we when we assembled the others. So turn it over and then with the glue. Now because this fits exactly then you want to sort of make sure it's going to the edge of these. Oh, preferably actually on the die cut rather than on the mat. Okay, so a little bit, my fingers in it, a little bit on the leaves just to make sure they're going to stick. <laughs> Put my hand on the pin in a minute. Just a little bit on those, and then a bit more of a squidge on the back of that now because these fit exactly i do lay them down but then i do pick them up just to make sure i don't need to do any wiggling 
I'll lay it down, but before I press too hard, I just turn it to the front to see if I just need to slide it around while the glue's still wet before I then properly adhere it. So that's that one. Okay, same for this one. This one's a little bit more intricate. So glue all the way around the edge of the panel. Stripping it this time. Right, and then like we did when we did um, the, the original Celebrate card, a bit of glue on all the big flowers and the sort of big, big areas that you can get a blob of glue onto. Okay. Sorry, I've gone quiet. <laughs> Don't know why my brain just switched off there for a tiny second. Right, so like like before, line this up as best you can from the back. And then just flip it over to the front because I knew I hadn't quite got that on. And give it a little bit of a slide to make sure that it's all covered. All Covered over. There we go. Right. So these then just stick straight down onto those. So let's do that. In fact, I am going to get the bigger glue rather than wasting the not wasting but using up that stuff on the fine end. Okay. So let's just give that more glue. Quicker rate. And then that's going to sit on there. Same on this one. And with this, you can, one of those ones, whatever colour scheme, I just happen to love neutrals, browns, creams. That's really my kind of thing. Uh, so here we go. I haven't got I haven't got an arrow this way is up this time. So this could end up laying down on the wrong the wrong way up, but we'll see. I think that looks like that looks like it's the right way. I have left quite a, a very small border on that one. And then that should fit. Good. Oh I did on that one. Look this way up. <laughs> There we go. Okay, okay, so. Right, the last bit, we'll, we'll assemble that in a minute. The last bit is just this. Now, you can, if, like I did on the, the first card, the black card, um, you can sort of fiddle around and, and um, make this look more like a sort of a banner. But um, I decided not to on this one. I just went for a straight mat and layer. So what I did make, what I did make sure though, was that the bit of paper that I had for this wasn't <coughs> wasn't one of the like the, the busy patterny bits that would get a little bit sort of confusing underneath. So I went for a bit that where the um the block colour. I, I didn't block that off, did I? Too much glue, not to worry, it dries clear. And then that bit on there. Okay, and we are now ready to assemble. Uh, get our little fine one out again. No, we do need that in a moment, just bear with me. I need some glue gel, that's what I need. I need that for the, for the dragonfly. In fact, I am gonna do that first. I'm going to put the dragonfly on so that I'm not trying to press the dragonfly down onto something that's on soft glue gel. Um, that's what I'm looking for. So, it's beautiful, beautiful little detailed dragonfly. A little bit of glue on the back of him. Tiny little bit on the tail. And where did I put him? I put him on that leaf. 
I'm just a little bit higher this time. I don't know if it's him, could be her. There we go. On and then same with a little a little cream one just to offset. I am gonna block that one. It's got a lot on the tail. Okay, okay, right. So now I don't need to try and put that on when I'm um when it's already got glue gel underneath. So let's put the um this in for the moment. Yeah. Those games can fit their shapes in the hole. There we go. Okay, right, glue gel. Make sure we got that the right way. Let's get the glue gel going. Um, and three, and four. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think my brain is finally gone. Ah. There we go. So that's nice and raised. I think I'm going to run out, but I have another one. That's good. One. Just about. Let's put the lid back on that. And hopefully this one is working. And we can finish. Yay. Gel, yeah, that and that, Ooh. and oh, and then our our um sentiment is going to sit across there, so we need um glue gel here to for the height, like so, like here. But we don't really need it there. We just need a bit of um, something that's going to stick on like that. Now I've, I've done that too close to the edge, but that's okay. I can move that. There we go. Okay. And then I decided not to go for a bow on this card because I just felt there wasn't there wasn't enough room. So I've got a few little um, flat back pearls, which are my other obsession. I have these in a gazillion colours. Just three. Oh, the glue's gone all bubbly. Oh look, just I just would like glue, not a bubble. Thank you. Okay, there we go. And that's what we need. Clean that off. And that in, and then. My little pencil. <laughs> Just trying to turn them over the right way up, but they're sticking to my fingers. One. Oh, goodness. Put it on the right way, woman. One. Two. Oh, yeah, yeah. And three. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm.